Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have Dogmatica Zodiac. Uh, this deck is pretty good. It has, it's basically a control deck, and it's definitely the best variant of Zodiac because it can't really do much by itself. But um, I'll be showcasing the deck right now. I'll go pretty as in depth as I can, and I, I hope you this uh, video is pretty helpful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell as it really does help the channel. And um, let's go get straight to it. Uh, starting off with our Dogmatica engine, as you can see here, it's 10 cards. It takes up exactly one row. Two copies of Fleur de Lis, three copies of Ecclesia, three copies of Disciple of Nadir or Nadir Servant, and two copies of Punishment. Um, two Fleur de Lis and two Punishment. Uh, just because I'm not necessarily running Maximus in this deck, so it's not really worth playing as a one of and plus it's pretty important just as kind of a hand trap, and this Zodiacs don't necessarily have the biggest amount of your um, aggressive side, so Fleur de Lise, even if you don't control a Dogmatica mo monster, is actually pretty good in terms of pushing for game and dealing a lot of damage. Um, and Dogmatica Punishment, this is also just kind of a generic trap, if you get what I mean, because uh, you do run some pretty nasty ways to get uh, cards from your extra deck to the graveyard. And on top of that has the ability to send your Titanic Lad, which can convert into a monster negate during the end phase. So, um... This is kind of my, these are kind of my ratios. Two copies of Ecclesia and three copies of its Nadir Servant should be pretty self-explanatory. Why exactly there are three? Because there are main searchers. Um, and yeah, that's our Dogmatica engine. I'll go to our Zodiac engine now. Um, it's 16 cards, it seems. Uh, just a little short of our generic interaction engine, I'd like to call it. Um, but... To the engine, we have three copies of Tar Blade, three copies of Whiptail, um, three cop two copies of Ram Ram, one copy of Ratpier, two copies of Avarice, one copy of Barrage, three copies of Tenki, and one copy of Zodiac Combo. Um, I'll go over them one by one. Uh, three copies of Tar Blade. This is kind of necessary. It does help you generate more advantage and helps you draw. It gives you a higher chance of drawing into cards like Nadir Servant, uh, Ecclesia. It helps you draw into more hand traps. Help you maybe draw and do a triple tactics talent in case you really need that. Uh, just Zodiac probably does have a lot of um, utility in this deck. It's um effect that it gives to a Zodiac Xyz monster isn't that important, but um it's pretty nice nonetheless. You know, letting you just draw extra cards. Three copies of Whiptail. This is um really the most aggressive Zodiac card really. I was able to non-target, non-banish, remove cards on the field, which is pretty important, especially against Dragoon, since um it doesn't target or banish. It's basically just free banish um any card any monster your opponent controls really. It's just super, super nice. So um three whip tail for sure. Two copies of Ram Ram. Uh, main reason for two, you kind of want to draw it with Taro Blade, um, but unfortunately you won't always be drawing it with Taro Blade. It's also just really good as a defensive card to stop your opponent from using cards like Imperm or another uh, a dog Dogmatica Punishment of their own. It's Ram Ram, Ram Ram has definitely saved me from a Dogmatica Punishment or two. Um, and you're really sometimes you're going to use this on field effect to go into a. Um, Infant Track Megaclops Fortress. Um, so that's kind of our main reason for playing that. One copy of Rat Pier. Uh, you can either dump a Ram Ram if you're trying to go for maybe the Megaclops pass play, or um, if you know your opponent's playing something like Eldritch or something on those lines, then you could just go for a Zodiac combo, which helps um, recycle material and also generates advantage. So um, that's the main reason why we run the one Zodiac combo, in case you were wondering. Um, Zodiac Rat Pier, it's at 1, uh, it would be ridiculous at 2 because it'll just be able to give you 2 free um, Zodiac monsters on the field. So um, that's the main reason for running Rat Pier. And uh, moving on, Avarice, this is, this might seem like a generic card, but Avarice is um, definitely very important, especially since Dryden is limited. Uh, you don't have too many ways to recycle that one Dryden, which is your main card. And um, Avarice really helps in shuffling back material, especially your extra deck material, if you're using that for stuff like Punishment and your Nadir Servant. Avarice just has a lot of utility. It also helps you draw into cards. Um, so you can draw into Zodiacs if you're running low on that. Helps you draw into maybe your 
drills or any hand trap really so that's Avert Avert comes in clutch there too um just a very very strong card in this deck since you're very easily able to get tons of cards in the graveyard at the same time so that's our main reason for running Avarice. one copy of your zodiac barrage um it's just another way to get to zodiacs um in terms of how many copies of zodiacs we're running we're running um 9 10 13 uh, this just guarantees a this guarantees a zodiac in your opening hand but doesn't necessarily um guarantee one later um in the game so zodiac barrage this is really good just because um helps you get a zodiac on the field without using your normal summon so in case you want to uh, normal summon another zodiac and go into more exceeds plays maybe go into hammer kong to protect yourself uh zodiac barrage comes in clutch there two copies of your tanky uh, this searches any of your zodiac monsters really um as i said you want to get to them pretty consistently one copy of your zodiac combo mainly just for rat peer and um, being able to recycle material uh, one to three copies of um oh yes and we're going to our hand traps now two cups of nibiru this is very important especially in today's meta since um you do kind of want to capitalize on the meta deck choke points i.e your infernoble and dragon link um Di dinosaur is definitely a fan favorite and uh, this also helps not oh yeah this doesn't help at all against dino sorry i forgot about misc entirely um but uh three nibiru for sure just really helps against dragon link and infernoble three copies of ash blossom another nice generic hand trap uh, this can be anything you want. The cards that you can swap out are your Ash Triple Tactics. And I'd say those are really the only ones because uh, Droll, Nibiru, and Imperm definitely have to be there since they are such big players in the main meta. Um, but 3 Ash is just a must-have since so many um, decks in today's meta do just search and summon from deck and whatnot. Uh, three copies of your Droll and Lockbird. Droll is able to... Um, basically just straight up stop card decks like infernoble and your dragon link so a uh, droll is um it's kind of it's getting its relevance in the format right now it's super good against a lot of decks including decks like salmon grid you don't see it that much though um it's good against decks that like to just you know add cards search all of that you know things normal decks do so a three droll for sure Two copies of Triple Tactics Talent. Uh, this might seem odd for a main deck choice, especially in a control deck, but um, this is super important in terms of dealing with cards like um, Dragoon. As I said, you don't really have too many ways to out it. Um, one might be your Zodiac Whiptail, but not really that much. Um, triple Tactics Talent is definitely not something you look lightly on. It's mainly go for going second, because um, you're not likely to get hand trapped in... Because hand traps don't really hurt you that much in this deck specifically. Um, but you do kind of need to run this for going second. It helps you deal with boards. It helps you steal monsters. Um, stealing Dragoons has won me games. Just destroy a card they control and then attack the game. Um, triple, tactic, triple Tactics is just super powerful. Uh, three copies of your Imperm. Uh, this is once again a generic hand trap. Just negates uh, cards. Especially at choke points since they are very effective. And uh, that's the main deck. Um, now going to the extra deck, um, it's, this might seem pretty bad, you know, just running three of your, uh, dogma extra deck monsters. But you see, there isn't too much space, and, um, I didn't really feel the need to run anything else than these three specifically, so I just left it as this. I've never found a need to run any more than these three, so, um, let's go to them. Uh, one copy of your Titanoclad, this is mainly for, um... Just either just special summoning Ecclesia or searching a Fleur de Lis if you're doing that. Um, usually you're going to just activate a uh, Dear Servant, search the Ecclesia, use Ecclesia search punishment. During the end phase you get a search for Fleur de Lis. So just, right, just off that, off one card, you're able to get a monster negate and basically two pops, which is super good, especially in a deck that can run multiple hand traps and the ability to just end on a pop itself which is super good. Um, one copy of Natis. Natis is basically just another free pop. One copy of Omega. Omega is mainly to return cards to the deck. This comes especially in clutch with Dryden if your opponent has outed it and you don't have any way to recycle it like Avarice and Zodiac combo. So um, one Omega for sure. 
Uh, now for our Zodiac cars, we are running two Tiger Mortar. This has come a lot more frequently than you would expect. Uh, Tiger Mortar is just super good, helping you give cards other m extra material. So if you summon the card of Zodiac Chuck Knight, say you summon back your Dryden't, then you can just give it a material using Tiger Mortar, which not a lot of people see, but um, not a lot of people use that way. Anyways, giving Dryden an extra material using Tiger Mortar, I don't see people do use that, but it does come a lot, and you should definitely uh, go into practice to do that. One copy of Hammer Kong, this has also just come up a bit more than I actually expected. Just being able to set up the Dryden while protecting it is super powerful. Uh, three copies of Chak 9, you cannot afford to run any less than three because you do easily burn through copies of her and you just want to repeatedly summon Dryden and equip it with uh, a given material with Tiger Mortar and maybe sometimes go into a Hammer Kong just for extra protection. Um, that's going to be kind of your mainline combo. Uh, you just Dryden Hammer Kong pass. Uh, I know it sounds kind of sad, but you know you have to do stuff. Uh, one copy of your Borbo. This is just to get an extra material on any Zodiac you want. Uh, it's not likely you're going to use its effect to um, give it 12 Xyz materials and um, send all cards from their hand and field to the graveyard. Uh, th th there's just no chance of resolving that. If you're able to resolve that, do give me an email with a replay of that because I'll just laugh at it all day. It'll be a lot of fun. And um, yeah, those are all our Zodiac cards unless you want to count Mega Clops as one, but I'll get to that in a second. All our Link monsters now, one copy of Access Code, this is just for closing games, once again, this deck does lack um, aggressive potential, so Access Code just really helps fill in that gap. Uh, one copy of your Mega Clops, Mega Clops is an excellent boss monster, um, although I don't really recommend running him if you're going in games 2 or 3 and you know your uh, opponent is playing a deck that can easily out it through other means. Um, another thing is that... Um, I don't think if it doesn't. Okay, it does target for its second effect. Sorry, so I thought that was gonna be outing Dragoon. Um, but technically, in Fintrack Megclops, I don't. I don't think its effect can be negated by stuff like Savage Dragon and Herald. So that definitely does come up, and is able to just. T um, its second effect is a free plus two, being able to non-destruction remove any card they control while bringing back something like a Dryden, and then Dryden can pop something once again. Uh, it's just absolutely insane. Uh, and finally, just two slots, one copy of Nightmare Unicorn and one copy of Phoenix. Um, I guess these are utility slots if you must. Um, but they have, they are pretty important, especially in stuff like link climbing into access code. So um. That's the entire deck. I hope you enjoyed it. If if there's something I could improve on, then don't forget to comment that. It really does help me as a player too. And um, I'll guess I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.